DM073 Gaming is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory. If you're looking for pre-orders of the upcoming sets, including singles or booster boxes of previous sets that have come out, you can check the link down below. Happy Little Hug Factory also has a buy list for Force of Will, so you can get rid of those extra cards you have laying around and turn it into new upcoming product. Thanks so much, guys. Check them out and enjoy the video. Hey there guys, DM073 here, bringing you the deck list for the T-Storm Shayla that you saw earlier this week, piloted by Tyler. Uh, this is actually just like a basic shell of an idea of where to kind of start with Thunderstorm Shayla. I definitely think that there are other cards you can use, um, but this list was kind of wanting to try to make use of Thunderfish, uh, the Giga Thunderfish kind of playline. I definitely don't think you have to use that playline with Thunderstorm for Shayla. Um, this is just kind of a sample idea of where that might look. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. So obviously on the front side we have Shayla, Judgment for 3, Energizes for blue, Water is Rain on your turn, or Weather is Rain on your turn, and you can tap to search for Weather Change Rain, uh, and then Thunder Parasol is pay 0, uh, you can put an Electricity Counter on her once per turn during your turn, or you can remove an Electricity Counter from her once per turn during your turn, and then it becomes Thunderstorm. It only becomes Thunderstorm if you remove Electricity Counters, this is important for you to remember. Then she flips over into Shayla the Mermaid Princess. 10-12 draws you a card as soon as it enters. Uh, Weather is rain permanently when she's on the field. Um, her Thunder Parasol says, uh, pay zero, the weather is now Thunderstorm until end of turn. You can activate this on either player's turn as many times as you want. Um, and then it says, Thunder Parasol's second part is a God Art. Indignation for blue and two electricity counters. You can just destroy target J slash resonator and then rest all resonators your opponent controls. So you destroy something, tap everything else down, poof, there you go. I think in the feature match we actually forgot about the resting part. Um, I don't think it terribly mattered too much at the moment, but that's just something for you guys to kind of keep in mind. That it does, it destroys one thing and then taps everything else uh, resonator wise your opponent controls just down. Doesn't tap J rulers though, so keep that in mind. Going into the stones, we play four deep wood, four light vapors, and two Kagia Stone of Sorrow. Uh, Kagia Stone of Sorrow is really nice, um, but we don't need it necessarily nearly as much since we're playing Rachel, uh, and we already have lots of blue options, and so we kind of want the light more. Um, I definitely think that this deck could make use of light a little bit better, um, but that's kind of for up for you guys to kind of play around with. Going into the Resonators, we start with three Angelic Voice Mermaid. It's a free draw card, and it's a body on field early on in the game, which is great. Uh, we play three Thunderfish, uh, which lets us be able to lock stuff down, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then if the weather is rain, which it's very easy to make it in this deck, you get to draw a card when it dies. So again, kind of keeping your hand full of cards. Silent Mermaid, we play three of it. It's a great card. If the weather is thunderstorm, your opponent can't play cards on your turn. So if this is on your field, before you draw for your turn, if that's the turn you plan on kind of making your big play, make the weather thunderstorm with Shayla. Silent Mermaid's on the field. If it resolves, poof, your opponent's locked out for the turn, which is pretty cool. And then you can make your big push. Two Sorcerers of Heavenly Wind, Melfi. Um, you probably also could play three. Uh, I kind of changed some numbers around here after the feature match on Wednesday, and I'm just playing the two. Three Aqua Rifle Mermaid. Um, this card is very, very good as a tempo card. Uh, as a three drop, it's very easy to make the weather rain and you just pop any resonator your opponent controls back to their hand while also putting a 7-7 seven, seven on the field. Big tempo card. I definitely think that you're going to play this in pretty much any Shayla deck. A Riula, the Alabaster Dragon Princess, just to be able to heal um, Shayla if for some reason she dies because she is one of our main ways to get access to... Um, to... Uh, Thunder, thunder, uh, thunderstorm, <laughs> brain turn on. Sorry about that. Um, it's also really nice if, for instance, like you flip and then they kill her, and you want to be able to use that God's art, or maybe you didn't get to use that God's art at that moment. Uh, especially if you're playing against decks that run the spell to remove all counters. So Riula is like, well, now that she's dead, I'll heal her and then make use of those electricity counters again. Uh, three Mega Thunderfish. Um, pretty good card uh if you it's a good like anti kind of kill stuff card i guess if it dies you get to bounce something back to his hand or set it to the top of the deck if the weather's rain so just by itself and then if it's thunderstorm it becomes a 10 10 with swiftness which is pretty awesome uh three rachels now uh, we're playing green there's really no reason to not play at least some rachels this card is very very strong um we don't flicker her a lot, so primarily we're actually just using it on our own deck, uh, unless we're in a really strong position, at which point we'll use it on our opponent's deck to make sure that we keep them locked where we want them to. 
And then if it dies, we get to search for any card, which is great. Two Giga Thunderfish. We only play two because we don't want to get flooded with them. Um, but it is kind of our big heavy hitter at the end of the game. Two Dawn of the Earths for some protection, being able to board wipe a little bit. Um, this can be good against Fairer. This also is really great against inverse decks. Like when they invert everything, you just play this and wipe out all their inverse cards. Pretty awesome. Um, because this does also hit additions. So I think Dawn of the Earth is actually going to be a card you're going to see a lot of play moving forward. Two Severing Winds, um, because we are green and we can cast them, and sometimes decks can kind of get ahead of us. Three Millennium Bonds for more cancel, as well as draw power, which is awesome. Uh, and we do control water and wind, not that we have any treasury items. Um, two Spinning Aqua Soul to be able to recycle our spells. Uh, two Shayless Foresight to be able to recycle our deck, um, as well as, you know, possibly top deck an opponent's creature, or draw a card, or do all kinds of stuff. And we are Shayla, so we'll get three of the effects, which is awesome. Three Thunder Wave, this card is great. Kill, bounce a thing, um, or also it serves as addition hate. Um, and then you get to draw the two cards of the Weather's Thunderstorm. So it's like a three for one, which is awesome. And then three Lightning Cave, just to kind of help protect you as well as give you more access to Thunderstorm earlier in the game without having to flip Shayla. So that is the list. Again, this is kind of just a place to start. If you're going the Gigafish route, I definitely think that there are other ways to play Thunderstorm Shayla. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off. Huge thanks to the patrons of the channel, you see their names here on the screen as well as down below in the description. They are what help make this channel run and help me do these awesome projects for you guys. If you feel like joining the channel and getting access to all the cool perks that come with being a patron, click on the P on the screen or the link down below. Thanks so much, see you next time.